Hello and welcome to what I hope will be the first of many base tuition videos on my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the double thumb technique made famous by Victor Wooten uh, because it is by far and away the thing that's most commonly requested and I love the technique so I thought I would make this my first lesson. Now the reason why I love this technique is because it's it's a lot more versatile than people initially give it credit because slap bass is so commonly associated with funk music that they think it's a funk technique, like slap bass is funk, that is it. Uh, however, the double thumb method has kind of opened the door to playing the technique in a variety of different genres. I mean, there's there's metal bands that use it, there's folk bands that use it, um, there's guitarists that use it, there's bass players that use it. There's, so there's a, there's a huge scope of, uh, of ways to use the technique. Like As a bass player, I like to use the technique um, in two ways mainly, uh, and variants in between. Uh, I like complementing a, a bass line I've already come up with, with little, almost percussive kind of, uh, just backbeat, just a backbeat behind the actual bass line I'm playing, so something like this. <laughs> Did you hear that? Just at the, just in between the notes, so. So it's not. That's not really. I wouldn't call that a funk line. It's more. It's just a melodic thing. Uh, yes, that's right. It's a melodic thing with uh, with backbeat in between. So. Yeah. And the other way that I like to play is kind of in a in a just an unrelenting machine gun style. Just so it kind of uh, it's really aggressive and it's. I don't know, it serves a purpose in some styles of music, so something more like this. So you know, that's clearly not funk, but it's it's still got the that pop of, uh, of the slap bass style. So for this video I've come up with a, uh, a bunch of different exercises using the same notes on the left hand, so uh, you're just going to be focusing on the right hand. Uh, they're going to vary in difficulty, so for beginners they're just going to incorporate the thumb to get used to the technique. And then once you're used to that, you can start bringing in your first finger and then your second finger. Uh, I've seen players that use even their third and even their pinky as well, uh, but I'm not good enough to do that. So I'm just going to stick to what I know, which is the thumb and the first two. So along with this whole video, we're just going to be playing along with a metronome going at 120 BPM and uh, just playing at various speeds within that tempo. So as I said, left hand wise, these, these exercises are very simple. Uh, all you're going to be doing is minor triads. Just up the strings. It's nothing crazy. Um, it's yeah, so because the technique is mainly right hand driven. So okay, here we go with this first one. It's just like I said, the, the first ones are only going to be thumb. Um, and this first one we're going to be playing one note on every beat of the of the click track. So something like this. So as you can hear, that's that's pretty much as simple as it gets, um, which is a good thing because my uh, my strict belief is that do not try and run before you can walk, guys. Like just, it's not a competition. Just slow it down as slow as you have to slow. If 120 BPM is too fast, slow it down. It doesn't matter. Once you are feeling a little more comfortable, that's when you can start with this second exercise, which is essentially the same thing, but double the time across the tempo, over the tempo, I should say. So, something like this. So again, it's nothing too crazy, it's just uh, it's just developing the technique further once you're comfortable with it. And now this last one is, is quite tricky to be honest. Uh, Again, it's the same notes, the same amount of hits per note, if that makes sense, uh, but you're just doubling it again, so something like this. Yeah, you 
even I wasn't totally clean then, but you see what I'm trying to get at is uh, is once you're comfortable, that's when uh, that's when it starts becoming really slick because you don't you don't want to tr like kind of sound like you're almost there at a tempo. You want to start slow and be as clean as possible with your playing up to whatever tempo you play at. So. Once you're comfortable with uh, just the thumb, uh, it's time to start incorporating uh, your ET finger. I find it best to slow it right down again. As soon as you in incorporate something new, just take the tempo right back to the beginning because, you, like I say, you want it to be as clean as possible. So this one is essentially the same exercise that we did right at the beginning, uh, but we're just going to play three notes in each thingy. Like this. Quite an interesting one actually because it, it goes over it overlaps the click in a different way. I mean I'm, I've got a click on that doesn't have an accented one, but if yours does, you might find it a little confusing because you're going to be playing trip well not triplets but groups of three over four, so it, it it'll eventually loop back around again. But if you if you've got access to a metronome that doesn't have an accented one, I would recommend that for this because you'll it might confuse you. Now on this second exercise, I'm at the this is quite a tricky rhythm to get used to because you're actually playing triplets over the top and rather than go into too much detail I might as well just demonstrate it to you. So here we go. My finger got caught there, uh, but you get the idea. So you're going chipala chipala dugga da dugga da dugga da that's the rhythm you wanna you wanna hear. And finally this next one is essentially double time triplets. So I'm a theory buffs out there, please give me a hand. I'm pretty sure what I'm playing here is, is 16th note triplets, is that right? And this is the one I find trickiest by a long way, so I'll I'll give it a go. So it's something like that. That wasn't great, I admit, but uh, I did my best. Um, so you guys, if you can play that better than me, then feel free to send me a video and tag me in it or whatever. And I feel like I should probably explain that the reason why I'm less comfortable with the one finger things is because watching Victor Wooten's videos, I kind of went, I went straight to, uh, I went straight to down up pluck pluck. So I got heavily used to that, and um, that's why I'm so. Uh, adamant to tell you guys not to try and run before you can walk because it was my mistake and uh, it takes a long time to kind of backtrack from something that's more complicated. So once you're comfortable with the uh, down up pluck then that is uh, when you incorporate the second finger and I would recommend slowing it down again. Pretty much playing the first exercise uh, but I think I think it's personally worth playing four notes per beat. No, four, <laughs> one note per beat uh, before you. Oh, I'll just stop talking and show you it. This. comfortable with that that's when you double your tempo so
So in this next one, you're going to be playing pretty much the same thing, but just double the feel again. Uh, so like this. Okay, so once I was comfortable with that, um, I decided to half the length of each note. So I'm playing instead of and that started tripping me up a little bit and I'll, I'll explain why after I play it so it sounds like this So the reason why it tripped me up is uh, I never thought about it before but everything I was doing before that and everything you've done up up to this point in the video is you're doing all of the four all of the motions on the same string but this one uh, requires you to do a down up on your A string and then a one two on your E string uh, and that's quite strange because for me it's kind of counterintuitive because you because you're going back on yourself but the technique to me feels like it's going up your hand does that make any sense or am I just an insane person so that motion took me a while to get used to, so it might be worth you halving the tempo again. Not halving the tempo, halving the feel within the tempo, so like this. Which brings me to the last exercise of the video, which is uh, what we just played, uh, but double the feel. So it's kind of same ideas as the, as the other ones. So if you enjoyed my uh, first attempt at a, a video tutorial, uh, let me know. Please leave a like and uh, a comment and all that stuff. But that pretty much just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.